Who's excited to see some school life hacks just like this one? I can't wait to get into this video, but before we do, if you go to school, make sure you hit that like button. The last time I asked you guys this question, some of you guys didn't hit like. Some of you said you were homeschooled. It doesn't matter. If you learn any type of schooling, you gotta hit the like button. If you've done it, make sure you're not lying. If you're new around here, subscribe for loads more videos on the channel. Let's take a look. What kind of life hacks are we going to learn? I'm trying to think if I did any life hacks when I went to school. I remember sharpening a pencil once and the end just got really, really long and then it eventually snapped off. Unfortunately, I actually got pencil lead in my eye once. That wasn't very nice at all, but let's see what these guys are going to suggest. I used to do this back in school. Who didn't do that one? Sharpen off the end to get a little bit more rubber. I think everyone's tried that at one point. I know I have at least. Now, some of these things may actually allow you to cheat. Do not ever cheat in school, ladies and gentlemen, because if you get caught, it is really, really bad. But some of them are cool just to remember things and have them there if you ever want to pull them out and uh, be reminded of something that you may have forgotten maybe in a lesson not necessarily in an exam however so we've got some very complicated maths going on here i did tell you guys that maths is my favorite subject but i think i've forgotten everything apparently because i can't remember any of the maths that i learned so we've basically put two rulers together this is very smart. Holy cow, I did not think this was going to be this impressive. And then in the middle of the ruler, he can pull it out whenever he wants. There he goes. There's the formula. You're never going to forget it, guys. Okay, so we've got some bubble gum. Who else has had some of this bubble gum? And a massive, massive roll. If you ever tried to eat all the bubble gum, not a good idea. Wouldn't recommend. If you do use any of these crazy tools, make sure an adult is supervising because this is definitely some complicated stuff. He's using a glue gun and putting in a sharpener within the plastic container himself. Uh, I actually did a bit of design tech at school, so I did use a glue gun once or twice. Don't want to brag or anything, which then means that inside you've got yourself a sharpener. Okay, uh, quite cool, uh, but a lot of work just to get a sharpener into... Oh, okay, I take it all back. It's storing all the rubbish inside. That's actually really smart. Now, what's he going to do with a cigarette lighter here? I can't lie. I actually can't really use cigarette lighters properly. I can never get them to flick on. He's going to be using some of the actual inside plastic part of it. Okay, interesting. Where is this going to go? Is it going to be better than the last hack? Let's see. A little bit of glue gun in there. Spring! Yo, this could be awesome. If it's got a spring in there, something's going to go bouncing around. And then put the top of it back on. A matchstick in. This is crazy. What? The oh, wait. Oh, what? It's like a little boomerang spring thing for matchsticks. I think that's a little bit too dangerous to try at home, to be honest with you, but actually quite cool all at the same time. Okay, some more little tests here, more little secrets. Writing down some more formula, attaching it to a little bit of a pin. Oh, okay. So it's wrapped just at the end. No more than that, though. And then at the end of another one, it's like a scroll. It's like the old Egyptian scrolls. And then you put it in the top. So you've got yourself a little bit, almost like an actual scroll attached to your Tic Tacs. Oh my gosh, and then you can literally wrap it off to the left and right. That is crazy. Some of these are so cool. I actually want to try them myself. It's absolutely nuts. Okay, you're going to need lots of equipment here. Wait, why is that already on a ring? He's already got himself a little bit of a clipper on a ring, apparently. And this allows him to take off some of the rubber on the outside of some of the cabling. And are we going to use any of that? Was any of that useful at all? Is it going to link into him trying to work out his answer? Who else always used to put a smiley face at the end of their test, whatever they sign a name? I still, if ever sign my name or, you know, meet any of you guys who want a signature, there's always a smiley face in it. Now this, I think I can tell where this one is about to go, ladies and gentlemen. We got one pen. We got two pen. Will we go bigger than two pens? Oh, nice. Okay. Here we go, just in case you get detention, just in case you're like Bart Simpson at the beginning of The Simpsons and you've got to write a load of repeated words. I did actually have to do that as a detention once. Would not recommend. It was not fun and is very tedious. Oh, so this is smart. You've got to make sure there's a slight angle when you guys line up these pens, otherwise it won't quite work and they won't all like hit the paper at the same angle. See what I mean? Whoa, that works so well. I don't know why you'd want to write out the same maths question over and over. Like, yes, and subscribe, guys. Remember, if you are new around here, make sure you're subscribing and come and join the channel. So, you've got your shirt on. You're going to school. You're doing up the buttons. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap in between the two buttons. That is annoying when that happens, to be fair. 
So is there a way that we can solve this so that the material actually stays together rather than the gap always open closing? Especially when you sit down and your shirt like opens up a little bit. So annoying. We're getting ourselves some double-sided sticky tape. I think that is what we've got here. Let's see what it's going to be. Oh, I think I can already tell you what he's going to do. Yep, yeah, he's going to pop it in a little gap. And then you can stick it on. And then you can stick it on both sides. And then no more gaps. Yep, there we go. There's the other side of the sticky tape as well. I already knew this one. I should do some school life hacks myself. And then you're absolutely fine. I don't know why there is always such a big gap in between the shirts there. Maybe the button should be a little bit closer. What do you guys think? All right, what other life hacks have we got going on here? I want to see some more crazy stuff. All right, we've got a pen. We've got a little bit of like the ridge bit where you hold on to the pen. And then we've got another marker. Okay. And we're going to go and actually... Put marker on the rich part of the pen. And then, but then our hands are covered in, why would you want that? Oh, it's a troll? To troll your friends, maybe? Hey, if you ever want to troll your friend, that's not a bad idea. Let's see what else we've got here. Sprite bottle. Gonna open it up. I wonder what language that's in. Is that Russian or something? Any of you guys know what language that Sprite bottle is in? Let me know down below. I think it's Russian, but I'm not sure. Okay, we've got some more little bit of life cheats here going on. We're gonna cut out some more mass paper. Some more gridded paper to make sure that everything is lined up and everything is cut to the exact right angles. And that means that then it's the same algorithm over and over again. It's the same maths problem. If you guys had a favorite subject in school, what was it? Let me know down below. Mine was actually maths, but I feel bad. I can't remember much maths. I reckon I could work out some maths questions if I tried it again. It's just been a long time. Okay, we're going to stick it. Oh, this is smart. I can see where this is going. We're sticking it on the inside of the wrapper. I'm putting the wrapper back on the bottle, closing it up. Fun fact, I don't think this would work anymore because I remember even when I was in school, whenever you go in with a bottle, it'd actually make you rip off anything that was on the, the bottle itself. The bottle had to be completely clean and empty. So I don't know if that one would work. Okay, this is cool. So we're actually going to cut into one of the pens. And we're basically going to make like an indent in the middle. And then when we go and highlight stuff, it's going to do it at the top and the bottom, but it's not actually going to cover the whole word. Okay, that's quite cool. Just in case you actually want to read it properly and not have a load of coloring over it. At least it's above and below it. Okay, we've got ourselves a ruler here. We're going to go around the number seven and make the hole and then attach that hole to a sharpener. Now, last time I did a sharpener trick, I wasn't too impressed until the end when I realized what they were doing and it was actually very cool. So is this going to be another really cool one? Oh, it's a good way of holding it. You know what the sharpener ones, they always get you. Just when you think they're going to be bad, they're actually really cool. That one's like multifunctional. What else we got going on here? Okay, we sharpen ourselves a pencil. And we're going to make the pencil really short. And then once the pencil is really short, put on a little bit of glue. And a little bit more glue on the sharpener. Put it together. Are we creating another crazy sharpener hybrid here, guys? Oh, wait a second. We got ourselves a rubber. Who else had loads of different rubbers in school? I think I had like small ones. I think I had like a Pokeball rubber. Oh, whoa, it's a hybrid again. Yo, a three-way hybrid. Pencil, rubber, and sharpener. Oh, wait, what? Oh my gosh, wait a second. So with this bit here, the white stuff is actually non-stick -stick, like liquid or something. So when this actually solidifies around the pencil, and when you get to this bit here, you can just actually pull it in and out and it's like its own little slot. That is next level, holy cow. Oh my gosh, okay, what other impressive stuff we've got? We've got a little container, the small containers where you can never really hold enough of the sharpening. It's never really made much sense, did it? Why is he painted it completely red though? What's the point in that? Okay, we've got some more mass paper with some more little answers in there as well. They definitely seem a little bit more biased towards mass. I guess you could write down history, geography, English, any sort of test. It's been folded up and then it's... Oh, wait a second. I remembered this when I showed you guys right at the beginning. And then it folds all the way up and in you go. The thing is, don't actually use it as a sharpener. Because if you do use it as a sharpener, you're gonna get a load of mess because it's not got enough space, especially with all of the answers in there as well. What's this? School hack with some bread? We've got ourselves a little bit of a bowl. I'm gonna cut out the middle. 
of the bread. Okay. Maybe this is like a preschool going to school snack. What do you guys have before you go to school? Personally, I always had a Weetabix and some toast. My favorite cereal is probably Frosted Shreddies. What about you guys? We're going to crack open an egg and take the egg. The egg yolk's removed. Put in a little bit of, uh, is that pepper in there maybe or something? Pour it in the middle. Or maybe it was dye. Put it in the middle. Pop in the egg. Put the bread around it. Whoa, this is looking very fancy. Holy cow. It's like an earth egg all mixed in with... Oh my gosh, it's all a sandwich. What the heck? This is some crazy next level school sandwich. Tell you what, if you came into school with one of those, everyone would want your lunch. That is seriously impressive. Wow, those are some awesome school hacks.